Hi, and welcome to the Really Quick James Law Jr. Show. I'm James Law Jr. This will be really quick. No. <laughs> I haven't done an episode in, God, about seven or eight months uh, because I'm going to actually talk about this today. Um, we uh, did a season two. I talked about Bell's Palsy, did a few episodes. Um, been a while. I did a little special letting you know what's going on. And so now it's going to be my update of a year with Bell's Palsy. And what does that mean? And how do I. You see, I look fine. I look, I look much better. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Um, the show is coming back. I have episodes filmed, some from some months ago, but you'll so you'll see them, and I think I'll put dates on and stuff when you see the episodes. Uh, I went to a, a Hollywood premiere. Uh, I took you to my uh, TV studio. I did a couple of episodes of stuff, some fun stuff coming up. So I'm, I really stepped it up this season. Uh, from the first season. I really stepped it up and I give you some fun, good stuff this season. I have a better camera this season. I'm so excited. This camera is beautiful. Uh, makes me look beautiful, hopefully. Uh, and, uh, and it's going to be a much better half of the second season. I decided to continue it and not make it a third season because we did have a break, but I'm not going to continue it, make it season two and keep it going. So, and people have been responding to the shows and the episodes that I did. And one of the episodes that I did was on Bell's Palsy. Now, if you don't know that it, me, and it's your first time watching this, hi, welcome. Um, I have this series called The Really Quick James Junior Show. And uh, I had to stop production because I got Bell's Palsy last year. July 2nd, 2018, my face went paralyzed. The left half, this side of my face, the left half side. But as you can see, I am doing much better. A lot of hard work, a lot of tears, a lot of blood and sweat. Trust me, a lot of pills and supplements and eating differently. Um, but I've been, I celebrated a year, July 2nd this year, um, and I'm in a much better position than I was before. Bell's palsy, uh, for those who don't know quickly, it's uh, the cranial nerve behind my ear got inflamed, collapsed that, this left side of my face where my eye, it looked like a pirate. Uh, my eye was droopy, my mouth, all the nerve endings just went away. They died. And for just layman's terms. And um, luckily, you know, nerves have muscle memory. So for me, they came back. I am 95, 96% better than I was before. I still have sometimes difficulty uh, with nerves in my face. Um, there are times I get twitching, involuntary, involuntary twitching. There are times when my mouth won't work a certain way. Like right now, it's acting, it's acting, up, a, acting up a little bit. Um, but I think, it's just because I'm talking about it, um, but I think, um, for the most part, it's kind of gone. Uh, it went to my eye waters, that's one of the things that happens there, um, face freezing, uh, but I remember when it was coming back, oh my god, my nerves were, it, the, the thing about Bell's palsy is funny, when you don't feel something, that's a problem, when you feel something, it's a, it's a, a blessing. So, there were times my face felt like I was on fire because the nerve endings were just firing off and trying to free them, and there's always t involuntary twitching and stuff. That's good, because it means it's coming back. <laughs> um, not much you can do about it. You can put you know, warm stuff on your face and things like that, but it's like you have to just kind of go through it. Uh, it's crazy. But I did learn a lot about myself this last year, and that is... Um, that I can get through a lot of stuff. I can get through it. There were some really tough moments in there where I felt lonely and alone. I basically, and I'm sorry if anybody gets offended by it, but for the most part, I only had a very few people who actually helped me during that time period and were really supportive. Um, like really supportive, like we're, like we're there. Only a few people, only very few people. For the most part, I did it myself. My recovery, everything was me. And there were about three months of, uh, of that time, I left LA and went to Pittsburgh to kind of gather myself together into a nice calmer environment because anxiety is a big thing that happens too. In the middle of it, can flare things up. And I'm glad I did that. I had a house there that was wonderful. I sold my house this year. Um, but it was a great place to have. You know, I was able to relax for the most part, and it was great. But for the most part, the reason why I'm sitting here is because of me. Because I really had to pull the strength together every single day, every second. I learned how to, I learned how I had to really focus moment to moment and handle whatever happened moment to moment. And that could be from how do I get food in the house? I handle food. And what food am I eating? And how do I make it? Do I have strength to get up and make it? Um, my eyesight was out, so it's like, can I even see what I'm doing? There were times I couldn't watch TV, but I had to have it on in the background and calm me down. Um, there are certain shows that I watched that would keep me calm. I was getting anxiety. I became a tea person. I love tea. I got all kinds of teas. 
Um, and I had to drink those sometimes to calm down or feel better or help with certain inflammation. And I learned a lot of stuff. I did a lot of research. I'll tell you, Google and stuff is really a friend. The, my doctors were great. They helped me along too. Because um, the one thing about Bell's palsy, you don't know when it'll leave you. You know, it, it's very different for every person. Um, and so some people are still going through it. Some people really go through it lifelong. People go for years. I was very blessed that the majority of the problem was for a year, basically, and not longer. Um, but I learned to live with. I learned. To, I, learned to, I learned to live with a chronic condition. I had no idea what that felt like until last year and part of this year. I have much empathy for people who go through that now. I know what they go through on some level, and it's not fun. An odd way you do get used to it on some level. You kind of handle it. You, you handle the different pains and aches and things that go on. You kind of adjust. I guess it's human nature. You adjust to certain things. Like this side of my face, my right side of my face got very strong because I had to chew only. I couldn't chew on this side, but then it got very sore. Ironically, I'm going through a whole root canal thing and new crown stuff, so I can't chew on this side. So I got to chew on this side, so I'm building this side back up. And there's times when this is sore. It's just, I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is crazy talk. I love it. Um, but I am doing much better, and, and I have had a lot of well-wishers out there, um, a lot of the fans and my followers, um, and all that stuff did not go unnoticed. That did help me in my recovery uh, to read the kind things, and some of you checked on me online, and that did help a lot. Um, I don't take any of that for granted. Being in the public eye going through this was very interesting. Uh, but I said I would document it, and so like right now, as of September of 2019, I'm doing better. You see, I'm doing better. Got gray hair. We don't care about that. Um, I'm doing fine, and I want to thank you. So I just like this is quick, and more episodes are coming. And you can follow us on Facebook at the Really Quick James. I think it's the Really Quick JLJ Show. You can go on Facebook, and you can follow me at James Junior anywhere. Comment, like, subscribe the JLJ Media channel on YouTube. It's here. If you're watching it, please like and subscribe. I'm getting new subscribers. Thank you. Um, you can watch all the playlists from last year and the ones from this year. And, uh, and I just I hope you enjoy it and you, you like it. And, you know, if you want me to do something or try something, let me know. I'll see you next time.